It's a tough market. It's a competitive market. So, so we discussed. A lot of meetings happened. So we found out Throttle as a venue partner. So it's been a six months process to come to this stage where we are today. Uh, thanks to everybody who are behind the scenes and supporting, right from family, friends, Bharat and team. Everybody, Mr. Madhavan, who is our venue manager and his team. So, uh, Krishu, uh, when. Crick Kingdom requested that you need to have a local company, local presence uh, in terms of complete the formalities. So uh, I was blessed with a beautiful baby girl in June last year with seven months before. So we used to call her at home, Krishu. So just like that, we thought, okay, we just name it as Krishu. So that's how it started, Krishu. So now she's seven months old. She's not here, uh, but her presence is there by the name and with all your blessings. So that's why Krishu started. So um, after that, uh, the rest is what we are seeing here. Uh, we are going to kick start in a week's time. So we got a very good response. Uh, thank you, Press, for coming here to uh, place this event in a nice place. Um, thank you all. Thanks. A very strong person, in fact. Personal life, Podu Varkeli Agatum, Rumba Nermea Irkakudi, gentleman. So, cinema Ture Matulame, Samudayatulime on the Patina, Akra Konde, Yella Rukume, Nanme Matume Say the Kondirka Kudio, Urma Mani there. So, the Lerna Yaran Terenjurkum, let's welcome the actor, politician, our supreme star, Sharat Kumar, sir. You all may be wondering why I am here. So it is because of Divya. I got associated with her and they are family to me and wherever my family goes in doing something, I am there. That's it. So Ingevanda, of course, thanks to Abhinav and Prague and Rajiv for explaining what Crick Kingdom is. Uh, this is one of the academies, of course, I've been playing cricket in school and college levels, yes. And my son-in-law is also a cricketer who plays a flate for the country. And I think that I got confused with Avinav's name. It's Abhimanya Mithun, it is Avinav Mukund. So Mithun is playing our Ranji uh, semi finals against Shavarashtra. So if not, he would have been here. Um, the only thing I find in difference between other academies where, of course, I have visited, I've been on the nets of some of the places where they play cricket. Here they start from age six for the parents. The most interesting, of course, Prague was explaining to you about the app they are developing. On field, what your son is doing and how he's going to play cricket, your daughter is going to play cricket. They are going to be monitored by you from sitting at home. You go to app and find out. So that is the technology development that is going on around the world, around the globe now. So that is very, very important for you to know what your child is doing, whether they are really playing cricket, whether they have the passion for the game. And about anything that you start, you should have a passion. And for that passion, to achieve that passion, the achievement of the mother guidance. The guidance here would be the parents telling them, egging them on to go and play some game. And the game, when it happens to be the child likes to play cricket. And how do you make them to be good cricketers? So you need some guidance, and the guidance in the form of coaches. Of course, coaches, where do you find them? So you have to have an academy. So when you have an academy where they are really professional. So I, I was there on the opening of uh, Singapore's Dhoni's Academy. I happened to, uh, of course, uh, chat up with uh, Dhoni and we were there. It was a grand, really nice function. The High Commissioner of Singapore, the Indian High Commissioner was there. A uh, lot of pleasantries were exchanged about cricket and it was all uh, very uh, nice even there. So a lot of children were very, very interested in playing cricket. My son was studying in Singapore, got associated. He started playing cricket in Dhoni's Academy. I told Divya to pull him back because he's shifted to football. So kids start shifting from one game to the other. So he might get back to cricket because his brother-in-law is a cricketer. So maybe he'll come to cricket. So I wish Crick Kingdom and uh, professionally the handling. I was going to talk to them. They are very clear. There's going to be a curriculum. There's going to be theory. And that is very, very important. 
placing the fieldsmen, right? And that's one thing which is good. You're starting on a very good note and a very efficient team. It's not a sales talk. They are really a professional way of approach that they have in Quick Kingdom. If you can see if Dhoni's Academy, Dhoni is interested in there in Singapore and Rohit Sharma is interested to be a part of them here, you know what kind of professionals they are going to be and how your children are going to really play good cricket, professional cricket and future representing the country or the state. Thank you and wish Quick Kingdom and wish you all the best and wish all the students are going to join here and play cricket. I will drop in once in a way, try to bowl to your kids. Thank you. As uh, coaches, you would have known, you would have seen it. I have visited many. Uh, my biggest problem, you can say, with many of these academies are that the, it's not very scientific. You don't have a curriculum. You don't have a system. Uh, young kids these days lose focus because they don't enjoy the sport as much as I used to while growing up. I think it's a very good initiative by uh, Mr. Parag and his team here to actually bring some sort of science. I think every sport, every field in this day and age has become scientific. So we shouldn't have cases like that coming from Chennai or coming from uh, any of these academies because I think all of these academies should be accountable for how the kid grows up to becoming a a uh, first class cricketer or an international cricketer and I think they have the curriculum, they have the facilities and uh, they also have the passion which is more important as far as I am concerned. I really wish them all the very best and I really hope they produce a couple of cricketers uh, which will make our state proud.